What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Why Not Me. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, whatever the time. And today I wanted to actually talk about a topic that I really wish was around when I first competed and it's the price of competing. How much does it cost to step on stage? Because when I first competed, I kind of just thought you enter and then you just step on stage and, and that's it. But there's a whole lot of costs that you need to consider before you get into it. So I want to get into that today and kind of break down the pricing of everything that is involved. But before you get into that, you got to make sure you like the video, subscribe, leave a comment and share it all over your socials as well. So if you're competing for the first time, it's going to be especially important that you get yourself, get yourself a coach, which is likely going to be the most expensive thing that you will be investing in, right? So, uh, I've got down here on my notes, coaching is going to cost you between 200 to 400 pounds per month. Uh, you got to... <laughs> oh. Yeah, so coaching is going to cost you between 200 to 400 pounds a month. And I think you'd really struggle to find a coach that's going to be cheaper than that. And like I said, if you're competing for the first time, you really don't want to go into that first show not having that coach. So that's going to be the first thing you invest in, coaching. Kind of what also fits into that category as well is having a posing coach. Like I know for me, when I done my first bodybuilding show, I'm just, I'm so like uncoordinated, just don't know how to pose properly. So again, that's another coach that you're gonna have, a coach who specializes these days, because you do get coaches like that who specialize in posing. That's gonna cost you again between like 100 pounds to 200 pounds. Um, that you'll spend over the course of your prep. So again, that's another type of coach that you're gonna have to invest in. Cause I done the same thing. When I was, I would watch YouTube videos and be like, oh yeah, no, this is easy. Like, and you're just in your mirror, you're flexing like, yeah, I look good, I look good, I look great. And you don't, you probably look really bad. You probably look shit. You need to have an, another eye to look at your poses and be like, no, that's wrong. Cause it happened to me. Like you get a reality check from somebody who's actually competed before, who's had that experience, who's looked at so many people pose. So don't think that you can just nail it on your own with posing, you're, you're gonna need to get a posing coach. Obviously, you're gonna need some shows to enter. And I actually thought that was free. When I, when, before I competed, I was like, you know, you literally just write your name down, you write your age, and then you just show up. But that costs money. So how much is gonna cost you to actually enter the show? And also there's an additional cost because you need to register for the federation you're gonna compete with. So for example, myself, I competed uh, two years ago with the UK DFBA. There was a cost for me to register as an athlete for them. So that cost about 40 pounds. And then I had to actually register for the show that I was gonna compete with for them. So I had to become a member of the UK DFBA and I had to register for the Southern County show, which cost an additional 40 quid. So again, that's around 100 pounds, 90 to 100 pounds, just for the registration for the show. Now, that's pretty cheap because that's a small federation. When you start getting to the bigger federations and when you're looking to compete for IFB Pro Cards, you're, you're talking like maybe sometimes thousands to, to register and then to also compete at multiple shows. Next one I'm gonna talk about is the accessories. And for guys, this is gonna be a lot cheaper, a lot, lot cheaper. The girls wear jewelry and makeup and hair and all that shit. You're literally just gonna need to get trunks and a tan. Um, but again, not free. So tan, there's usually a couple of options. You can uh, sometimes pay for the federation to tan you, usually like the day before the show, uh, which again is obviously at a fee. Usually that ranges from between 50 to 100 pounds. Uh, or you can buy some federations, you need to buy your own tan. So these shows I'm competing in this year, I'm gonna have to buy my own tan and get someone to apply it for me. And again, that's gonna cost you about 50 pounds. So the tan is not free. And on show day, you need a tan. If you look up on stage, if you see somebody who mess, who's messed up their tan or they just didn't get it quite right or they haven't applied enough, you look, you look awful, especially under those stage lights and the light, yeah, you just, yeah, you need to tan. So about 50 to 100 pounds on that front. Next accessory that's crucial is gonna be your trunks. And again, these are not cheap. Like the, it's literally a thong and like usually, usually like underwear costs what? Like, oh, like cheap underwear, 10 quid, if that, like for a pack. 
like one pair of trunks for me this year has cost me 40 pounds now obviously if you're doing multiple shows and you, you want to get fancy with it you're probably going to get multiple pairs right so um, you're, you're looking at between like 40 and 50 pounds per trunk which again is is an expense so guys that's something for you to consider i don't even want to get into the cost for ladies because i can only imagine like the heels the jewelry hair makeup that bro that shit is just yeah too much for guys it's pretty simple but again that's another cost that you need to consider last two points i want to talk about is actually getting to the show and kind of the the day of the show as well so first of all you've got to consider travel so if you are far away, you're going to either have to drive far or you're going to have to get a train or fly in some, some instances. And obviously, depending on how far you've got to go, that's how much it's going to cost you. So consider the amount of travel you're going to, you're going to um, incur, like expenses that you're going to incur. Again, that could be anywhere from £100 to like 500 if you've got to get a flight. So travel is going to be an expense. And also if you need to get a hotel. So if you're staying... In the location or you need to make sure you're you're at the venue maybe the day or two before hotel again pricey thing so 100 to 300 pounds potentially on, on the hotel so again that's a cost that you got to consider what are you what are you going to be doing the days prior and the day of the show after the show as well if you want to get some nice photos to put up in your house share on your instagram whatever that's again going to cost you money obviously the venue's booked out a photographer or something to take quality photos so that's gonna cost you money I think I paid about 50 pounds for a set of my photos um, of one of my shows in 2021 so yeah photos if you want to get some nice shots I think that's pretty much everything we're actually gonna put the total on the screen so you'll be able to see all of that added up uh, so yeah like I said if you're thinking of competing this is something that you need to consider because competing is not free and it's also not cheap so we're gonna wrap that up Hope you enjoyed, I hope you found that useful. If you did, make sure to share it, subscribe, because again, like I've said, there's a few of you that are watching that are not subscribed. Make sure you click that subscribe button. It takes two seconds, man, it takes two seconds, right? So make sure you do it and I'll see you for the next one.